Welcome. In this video, we will discuss pooled special needs trusts, often called pool trusts. We will explain what trusts are and when you may want to use a pool trust. So what is a pooled special needs trust? A pool trust is a type of special needs trust. We provide an overview of special needs trusts in another video. Pool trusts are run by a nonprofit organization. The organization serves as a trustee. They decide how to invest the money in the trust. They make sure that the trust follows federal and state rules to protect people's public benefits. They keep track of how much money is in a trust account. And they decide whether to approve requests to use the trust account's funds. In a pool trust, people with disabilities have their own separate account. The money in their account can only be spent on them. However, the money in each account is combined for investment purposes. This is done to maximize the money the trust gets from investments. It helps make sure that the money in each account lasts longer, and it helps keep the fees needed to run the trust low. What are some reasons to consider a pool trust? First, a nonprofit group serves as a trustee. Trustees must learn a lot to make sure that the trust follows the rules and does not risk a person's public benefits. Nonprofits running pool trusts have staff with this expertise. Many disability groups like the ARC that run pool trusts also have expertise in disability systems, services, and benefits that other family members and individual trustees may not have. Not everyone has family or friends who can or want to serve as trustee. Trustees also must sometimes say no to requests to use funds. This can harm the relationship between the person with a disability and the trustee. Having a professional trustee can help protect relationships between the person with a disability and their family and friends. You also need to identify people who can serve as trustee if something happens to the first person you choose. This can be a challenge for many people, particularly as the person with a disability gets older. Having a nonprofit service trustee provides stability throughout the person's life. So you may wanna have a pool trust if it is hard to find a close relative or friend to be a trustee, or if you are worried about the future relationship between a person and their trustee. Second, pool trusts usually cost less than individual trusts. The, le the legal fees to set up a pool trust are often lower than an individual trust. You typically do need a lawyer to create an individual trust that properly protects a person's public benefits. While you should also talk with a lawyer when considering a pooled trust, it should not take as much time or money because they do not need to write anything new. The pooled trust will already have a trust document, an agreement that you sign to join the trust. Professional trustees often have expensive fees because accounts in a pooled trust share the cost of fees fees to run the trust are usually lower. Pool trusts provide that experience of a professional trustee without having to pay as much money. So if you don't have money to put in a trust or are worried about how long the money can, may last, it may be good to consider a pool trust. What else should you, should you know about pool trusts? The big thing to know is that it is important to research your pool trust options. Each pool trust has its own fees, processes, and structures. Be sure to ask questions so you understand what's possible and what isn't. Some pool trusts only operate in certain cities, states, or regions. Make sure that the trust you want to join can serve you. Learn about the different fees there are to join or have a pool trust and compare them to other nonprofits running trusts in your area. Ask about the different ways to request money or get help from the pool trust. Can you contact them online, by phone, by email? Ask how long they take to approve or deny a request and how long before you receive funds. Pool trusts also have different levels of expertise supporting people with disabilities. Make sure to ask questions about their experience in running special needs trusts, serving people with disability, with disabilities, accessing community resources, and their understanding of the disability service system and available public benefits. Make sure to review the different trust options you have 
and choose a pool trust that works for you and your family. So how can you find a pool trust in your area? There are two great ways to find pool trusts online. First, many chapters of the ARC run pool trusts. You can find a list of these trusts at futureplanning.thearc.org slash professional slash landing. To find the chapters that serve people in your state, adjust the search to the state you live in. You can also find a list of other pool trusts at specialneedsanswers.com slash pool trusts. You may also want to ask friends, families, or a case manager about pool trust options in your area. These resources can help you learn more about special needs trust. Thank you for watching this video. The ARC Center for Future Planning has resources and provides trainings on other topics too, like decision-making and housing. You can find more information on our website and stay up to date by joining our newsletter. Thank you.